Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm doing technical interview questions from Lead Code and I'm solving those in JavaScript to help you for upcoming technical interview. So today we have another question, question 20 valid parentheses. It has a lot of likes, about 8.8 thousand and only 350 dislikes. And usually if you look for the question, it has high ratio of likes to dislikes. It means it's a really good problem. So this particular problem is really good. It teaches you a lot about different uh, data structures. So let's read the problem first. So given the string S contain just characters, you know, those type of characters, open, close parentheses, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if open bracket must be closed by the same type of bracket and open brackets must be closed by incorrect order. So let's see in examples, what do they mean? So here we have open and close parentheses and we return true. Here we also have open closed parentheses of different kind also return true. What false is going to be is when we have open but no closed parentheses or we have closed and open parentheses is in different order. This one is actually a pretty unique case and it's also true because we have open close inside of open closed parentheses. So how can we solve it? So the way we're going to solve it is actually creating an object and for, for the object we create, we set open parentheses as a key and value is a close parenthesis. And then we're going to loop over the string, let's say this string, and then when we encounter open parenthesis, we're going to push it to the uh, to the stack. And then when we see the close parenthesis, we're going to pop it off the stack and compare if it's the same value that we got from the object. And if it's the same, we continue our loop. So let's first create our object. I'm going to copy my object because it's like a bit long to type. So here's an our object. So in our object, we have open parentheses as a value, a key and close parentheses as a value. And then we need our stack. So we're going to utilize just an array stack. It's going to be open stack. And then we're going to loop over the array. So we say for let I equal equal zero. I is less than s dot length dot length i plus plus i plus plus and then what are we going to say then we say if we see s i if the element that we're currently on is an open parenthesis of this kind or or the open parenthesis of any other kind so i'm just going to copy it three times open parenthesis of different kind open parenthesis of different kind what are we going to say? We're going to push this parenthesis into the stack, stack dot push SI. So basically, we're going to push open parenthesis. And then what happens? Then we have a close parenthesis. So when close parenthesis, when we counter into counter close parenthesis, we'll say else if, else if, we're going to say SI. So if current element does not equal to object and the object key we're going to say stack dot pop so we're going to pop from the stack open you know so let's say if this um this array let's look at this array so we go first iteration of the loop we put in our stack in our stack we're going to put open parenthesis then we pop it from the stack when we pop this open parenthesis, we compare what's the key, what's the value of open parenthesis, it's close parenthesis, is close parenthesis equal to the close parenthesis? Yes, it is. Then we're good to go. But if any at any time we encounter it to be false, we just return false. And then when we go through the loop, in theory, our stack should be empty. And then we say return stack dot length triple equals zero. And when do we need this condition? Do we need this condition if our input string is just, you know, one open parenthesis, it passed this check, never hit this check, but then we have to check if it's zero, it's not zero, it returns false. So let's submit and see how we've done. Okay, uh, let's see false, let's see what do we messed up. Okay, I accidentally deleted close parenthesis over here. Let's submit one more time. And here you go, we got 82 in speed and 88 in 
in memory and we got 82 in speed because we utilize object and object is of one uh, time complexity. So this is how you solve number 20 valid parentheses. Let me know down in the comments below if you like it and then let me know what else you want me to uh, discuss. Thank you.